Hi, I'm Ian. I work for RSPB Scotland and like everyone else, um, we're stuck at home in lockdown. And this is frustrating at this time of year because there's so much going on and we're not able to keep tabs on it as well as we'd wish to. But one thing that we can do is to use technology to keep an eye on what's moving around in the area. I'm lucky enough to have a small burn running around the back of the garden and we know from past experience that otters do use this burn. So what we're going to do today is to set a few uh, trail cameras and see if we can capture images of otters moving up and down the burn. All camera traps are basically the same. They have a motion sensor at the bottom, the camera in the middle and an infrared flash at the top which illuminates the subject at night. So I'm going to take this camera trap now and I'm going to put it on the post under the bridge here where there's a good chance that an otter might come through and get caught on the camera. The camera trap's been in place for about a week now, so I'm just going to retrieve it. And now I need to go back to the computer and find out if you've actually caught anything on video. Well, it's really good that we were successful and that we managed to catch an otter on video. It was nice to see it sprinting on the rock, which is uh, using its droppings as a kind of territory marker and then heading off down the river. And also really nice to see that little wood mouse uh, in the same area. What an amazing contrast between the size of the two animals. It's been good to have shared the use of the trail camera, the camera trap with you. It's a very good technique to be able to monitor wildlife across Scotland without actually having to be there.